What's up guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I will be modeling another stadium in Revit and today I will be modeling the Arena Zagreb stadium. It looks quite cool, it has these structural elements going all around. I don't know, it looks like some uh, a skeleton of some giant dinosaur just lay there and people built a stadium inside so I thought it's really cool and I thought it would be a cool challenge to try to model in Revit but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day okay so let's get started here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project and immediately I like to set the unit it's two meters that's just what I prefer using okay okay and then let's just take these uh, these elevation marks and kind of move them out a bit just to give us a bit more room to work with maybe even more and then I'm going to be loading in a image an image of this basically of a floor plan and then we're going to be using that for modeling the rest of it. So I'm just going to go here to insert image and go to desktop and this is just an image from Arc Daily and let's just scale it I don't know I'm just going to scale it like 10 times it's probably not going to be the perfect dimensions but who cares it's going to look right. So let's move this here out and you have to move these markers out just a bit so you don't so you have a clear elevation when you when you want to look at your project so let's move this one out as well and this one as well and if you can't see them right you can change the scale to like 1 to 500 and now you can see everything better okay so I'm going to be modeling this as an in-place family I know you're probably thinking it should be an in-place mass but the tools for an in-place family I think are a bit more practical for this particular challenge so that's what I'm going to use Okay, so let's go here to architecture. So we have component, model in place, and I'm just going to ch choose generic models for this one. And let's just call it generic model one, who cares. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create some reference planes just to center this on our, on our drawing or model. So just to add something to, to kind of help us. So I'm just going to call this F slash B for front back and I'm just going to create similar and create a new one like this like vertically and let's just place it here in the center yeah and let's name this one L slash R for left right so these are going to be just some reference planes to help us work with the project okay so I'm going to go to create and I'm going to choose sweep so go sketch path and use the line and I'm just going to place one line over here kind of like that and then I'm just going to mirror it to the or let's bring this down a bit so kind of like kind of like that if this arc kind of would have to continue it would end probably over here so mirror this to the other side yeah and then create an arc going from one to the other and kind of make sure it aligns to this line over here okay now you can delete these lines they're just kinda helping lines and then you can mirror this around this axis there we go okay so let's do the same thing for this one let's kinda create a line over here mirror to the other side just to have kind of a guide for creating our arc and then you create an arc that follows this outer arc and then you just kinda delete this trim and extend this over here this over here and then let's just mirror this to the other side and again trim and extend this and trim and extend this okay so once you have this this path you also want to fill it to these angles so I'm just going to give it a radius of 20 meters I think this will work yeah that works fine 20 meters here 20 meters there 20 meters everywhere okay you just go finish for the path and let's just go into 3d this is what we have and let's see profile let's go edit profile and let's create our own profile so I don't really have the height for this so I'm just going to go kind of freestyle it and let's see let's offset this by 45 meters to see 
the height. Yeah, this looks right. Let's do even 50 meters, I don't know, just in case. And then we can trim it later on. Okay, so let's create an arc going kind of like this. And it's it looks kind of like that, you know. And then offset it by, I don't know, something like 6 meters. Maybe we can do even more. Okay, this this looks fine. And then you just go trim and extend, and you trim this, you trim that, and you just go finish, and finish again, and this is what you get. So this is what we have right now. Okay, we need to do some uh, voids now to edit this and to make it look more realistic. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to East Elevation, so that's this. And now I'm going to create a void over here because it kind of looks like that. It curves in on the shorter side. So let's go create void extrusion and let's set the work plane for left right because we're in East Elevation. And let's just create an arc like this, kind of like that. And you can always extend it a bit. And you just need to connect this to finish this construction off. You go finish and go into 3D. And you can select it over here. And then you just extend this all the way out. And here all the way out. And let's see, cut geometry. Okay, it doesn't work sometimes, so what you can do is you can just kind of select it and maybe snap it a bit up, and then let's try again, cut the geometry. Okay, now it works. So, so sometimes these voids won't work, so you need to move them just a little bit, and then they will work. Okay, as you can see, this looks quite cool, but doesn't look ribbed. We need to add all of those ribs all around. So we need to create a void that's basically going to cut, be cutting this all the way around and yes I've tried doing this with an array but it just doesn't work right so I just like to create a void manually it's a little labor intensive but who cares it looks nice in the end so I'm just going to turn this to wireframe so we can see these frames better and, and now here I'm just going to create a void void extrusion create a rectangle kinda like this maybe like that yeah you select one side and you touch this and you make this three meters let's say and let's do the other one at six so like that okay so let's say this looks good or maybe you can extend it if you want let's try eight meters like this so this should be four okay now let's try this at eight so what you're going to do now is you're going to select this void extrusion or this rectangle you go to uh, to rotate you go to copy place center of rotation and you just place it here on the other side and for the angle let's try yeah let's try two degrees see what happens yeah this is fine now you select both of them you go rotate you go place you go copy place it here and you do four okay still looks fine again select everything copy place and yeah, you do now, yeah, you guessed it, 8. And let's do 8 just one more time. So copy, place here, do 8, yeah. And then you can delete this one and this one as well because they're kind of inconveniently placed. And then you can select all of these that are on the other side and mirror them around to the top. Okay, this looks fine. Then you select this, you mirror it around on the other side. So you're kind of working from there. Okay, so let's do the top array now. And just select this, go copy, and you copy it all the way here. You go rotate 90 degrees. And now you need to place it here in the center and you need to double check that. So you kind of move this here, you go four, and then you select this one and you just type in 8 and there you go. Okay, so once we have this one here and as you can see it's not going to be exactly like this array that they have but who cares, it needs to it needs to look as, as good, it doesn't have to be exactly right. Okay, so I'm just going to select this, go here to rotate, copy, place and here I'm going to place it all the way over here and now I'm just going to give it an angle of 2 
let's see what this looks like yeah looks great so you go copy rotate again let's do four now let's do eight and let's do eight one more time so copy place and here go eight okay this looks great so select the last one and delete it yeah and we're going to create two manual ones over here so now I'm just going to select this and unselect all of these yeah and you mirror that to the other side kinda like that and you can kinda bring it a bit to the top maybe do something like this yeah yeah, yeah, that looks better. Okay, so once we have this side done, so you can select all of these, you can mirror them down. And now let's just do the corners. So I'm just going to select one of these. So you just hover over one line and you hit tab and you select all of it. So you just go copy and you go to the other side and now you rotate this by some small value, kind of place it like that. And then you can copy it, sorry copy it and then rotate it again kind of like that and you place it over here and now you need to kind of fix this up a bit so let's just create an angle over here now it's going to give you some warnings probably but don't worry you're going to adjust everything nice so you can just go like that and you move this in move this like that kind of make everything look proportional for these corners kind of like that maybe this sh side should be a bit more like this and then we need to adjust this as well kind of like that okay so now you select these two and you mirror them to the other side and then you mirror them to the other side again horizontally or vertically okay so once we have this let's go into our 3d and just go finish and you extend this all the way up and you wait for a second it's kind of taking a toll on my computer and you go finish you go finish model and this is what you get and let's turn on some shadows So there you go, we have the, the skeleton for Arena Zagreb now modeled in Revit. And now you can add all the other parts, but you get the point how to create a construction like this. Okay, th so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.